Here we are with Summer Time Rendering episode 24. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Oh yeah, we stopped here. <clears throat> that she is like unconscious. <coughs> Oh. That's interesting. Oh! I have to say, <clears throat> the animation in this episode looks a bit worse than normally, I would say. Especially Shire. Will the two minutes be the full episode? <laughs> Here it comes. Nice aim. Oh, <laughs> smashing. Oh. What the fuck was with that? <clears throat> now he can regrow his arm suddenly? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Or oh, did he make a hammer? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh and just punch. Ah, that must hurt. But okay, she can't feel anything right now. Mm. 
He teleports to the bullet? Oh my god. Shadow Sense? <clears throat> oh. What are they going to do now? Ow. Yeah, he's fucked up. <laughs> His whole body is fucked up. Oh, okay. Did he lose a finger? Or was the finger just bloody? No, I think... Oh, I don't know. Damn cheeks. Yep. <laughs> yes.
I would uh, What the fuck is going on now? Well, you lived a long life, now you can die. What a douche. Oh, he lost the stinger. Intro music. <laughs> what the fuck? But I mean, if he has Shadow Sense now, kinda, doesn't she also have that? <laughs> He's also a Shadow, kinda, right? He has a Shadow Armor. Or maybe because he has a Mud Armor, maybe it's not the same. Oh, oh. It's an old body. So this even hurt him in the real world, I guess. Is this really the second last episode? This seems more like the last episode. 
Because it seems like he's done or is something happening. He's big again? He's healed again? I guess they are out of the Shadow Realm. <clears throat> but still in the Bright Shadow Realm. <laughs> oh, is this from the beginning? Oh, everything started. So this is a real world? There she is. Oh. He can touch her, but Rionov cannot. Yeah, okay, maybe. Oh, throw her. I wouldn't want to touch that thing. I mean, it makes sense, right? Stopping the cause for all of this, or erasing the cause for all of it. But how will that turn out for the future, for the current time, for the present? <clears throat> I mean, that changes a lot, right? 300 years, over 300 years. <clears throat> so 
So I guess next episode is the whole episode is a conclusion, I guess, because Sheeta is dead, I hope. Whale is gone. And we are at 20 minutes now, so I guess next episode is like complete conclusion time. Man, he got some gray hairs. <laughs> All the stress <laughs> in his young age. His red eye is gone. It was definitely more than that. Re-rendering. <laughs> So will this start like from day one and then he has like a good summer, the three days? <clears throat> she gives her the voice me message again, but a different one, I guess. And you have to come to this island. The shadow shit is over. Oh, she's not here. Make sure you find me. <clears throat> or are they redoing it? Everything in the perfect order or something for the best outcome? Oh no. Okay. Here we go. Good that we can experience this again. <laughs> okay. Next episode will be interesting because I don't know what to expect. Next time I'm home. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But, yeah. I mean, like I said at the beginning of the episode, I felt like this episode, quality-wise, seemed worse than everything before. Um, I mean, it wasn't completely horrible. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like it wasn't up to the standards from before 
like Shide, his face and everything looked very weird and all that stuff like it, it looked a bit weird okay and yeah i mean <clears throat> just still a very bit confusing <sighs> um i mean the crazy part is when we remember Ryanosuke used N N Nagumo's body, right, when she fought uh, Shida at the beach, and when um, Ryanosuke stopped controlling her, she couldn't really move anymore from all the pain because the body was basically destroyed. And here, Ryanosuke uses Shinpei's body way more, way more, and got damage from Shida and everything, and he can still move. That seems kind of weird, logically speaking. From what we know so far from the fight with Nagumo and everything, right? That seemed a bit odd that he can, that he's fine with all the damage and the pain and everything. So much that he can not only run, but also dodge <laughs> Shida's attack. But I mean, it was the Shadow Sense, which, like I said, I feel like Shida should be able to do that too, but maybe not because he's not a real Shadow. He, he just has this mud going on, right? But I mean, in this sense, Shinpei is also not a shadow. It's just like the bird eye view that supposedly gives him the same stuff as shadow sense or something. Or maybe because he was used to it because of Ryonosuke. Uh, that is a bit confusing, the whole part. And <clears throat> then, yeah, they basically <clears throat> went back in time. Stopped Hiroko, is it Hiro Hiroko? Hiroko, right? Um, stopped her from going to the whale, so that everything starts again. And then erased the whale, which is basically basically the root for everything. So I don't know what to expect next episode because either this is like past is erased, and that maybe means <clears throat> that could maybe mean, I mean. If the past never happened with the whale and what Ushio said, find me, maybe that means Ushio maybe never died and Ryonosuke also never died and so maybe Nagumo comes back to the island right now to see Ryonosuke and all that stuff. Of course, maybe she was away from home for whatever reason, to write or something, right? So, I mean, if the past never happened, then the shadows never happened, then Ryonosuke never died, then Ushio never died. Is that happening? But then why is Ushio crying at the end? Because if she's crying that, and I think she said bye bye, that feels like she just gave him the memory or a last message like that and now she's gone. But if the past is erased and never happened, then she should be alive, right? May oh, maybe not everything could be fixed. That's a bit confusing right now. And that's why I say I don't know what to expect from next episode. If it's like completely happy, no one died and everything. The full happy ending. Um, <clears throat> or maybe it's just basically still the same, but they do it in the perfect order and speed run this in like one. I, it can't be like that, right? The shadows must be gone now. So they can't just speed run it like in the best outcome that no one dies and they just stop the whole shadow thing because the shadow should be gone and I mean there isn't enough time to do a whole run of three days in the perfect order in one episode I would say. <clears throat> Unless they find some super speed run strats to shorten the whole experience. Um, so I guess the next episode is like purely conclusion and it's probably happy in some way so i would guess shadows are gone probably i would guess and maybe ryonosuke is still alive or maybe ryonosuke died maybe the people that died are still dead they maybe just died on a natural course now like maybe i would say heart failure for kids would be a bit weird but i mean who knows right um so maybe they just died somehow, so that dead people are still dead. Um, 
or maybe they are all alive i mean i don't know will be interesting but i feel like i have nothing else to say really i mean like i said the last episode i i, I feel like at this point it's just so confusing with everything that is going on that i'm just watching it to see how it concludes and like all the logic i feel like is out of the window for a long time <laughs> for like quite a few episodes and i mean this episode was purely fighting and like i said the whole point that Shinpei can still move after everything that Ryonos did to his body and that he feels all the pain like his body must be kind of destroyed and he can still move around like that um, it's kind of crazy um, so that didn't seem that logical I mean the rest I mean yeah I feel like there isn't much to say because mainly it was just a fight scene right half the episode was like one fight scene <laughs> um like even yeah pretty much half the episode was also the fight scene and then he has the end the conclusion basically and then both part again so i guess yeah we have to wait till next episode and see what's going on what's the conclusion and then that's it for the anime but i would say definitely so far not one of my favorite episodes right because again it was just basically one fight scene and like i said i felt like the quality was worse so I feel like the best fight scene is, was probably one with Nagumo. She had like awesome fight scenes, I feel like. I guess maybe the one at the beach, maybe? I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, there wasn't much else going on to talk about, I feel like. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching until next time. Bye-bye.